very good morning from Paris. People say I bring the weather along with me wherever I go, the English weather. But it's not true, guys. Um, but yeah, it's just a coincidence that the um, past two days has been raining in Paris. And again, you can see the skies is dull and it's raining. My car is right there, ready to roar. Today, the plan is um, got some schedules in Paris and then I'm heading back to London. So it's a long, long day and uh, you guys stay tuned i will show you the procedure of how do we get into england from um, from calais to foxstone and what's the formalities and the procedures so stay tuned and there's lots coming up so just exploring a small patisserie in france looks delicious Mm. Big one, the pistachio. Not the bag, please. One big, yeah. So, here in the beautiful French patisserie, I've got a couple of stuff. I've got a croque monsieur, a mini hot dog, and some uh, macaroons. That's going to be my breakfast along with a double espresso because I have a long drive today. The gentleman's been very kind, he's preparing me a double espresso, and it's a very beautiful. Um, uh, French patisserie. I'm gonna show you from outside right there. I've just done some parking. My car is right there in the VIP car park and uh, Yeah, waiting for my uh, croque monsieur Mmm <laughs> They're just preparing my macaroon box a special box So I'm again at the Avenue Montag here in the city center of Paris and I've got an appointment at Louis Vuitton which I couldn't do yesterday but we've got an appointment for today that's Dior small outlet of Dior so that's the Louis Vuitton at the Avenue Montag I've got an appointment so we're gonna go in find out what they've got for us. beautiful collection um, here at the Louis Vuitton in, in Paris of course it originates from here so they have got the collection first um, I see a very beautiful Lego here as well and very nice show pieces um, which you can have it at home so I really wanted to have sushi today for lunch so here it is the sushi along with some um, steam momos, the dumplings, and wasabi, and soy sauce. Looks delicious. So the race course here in Paris excellent atmosphere heading towards the horses now Allez. 
Allez, c'est parti. C'est parti, c'est parti. Finally, I found my hot seat in Paris. It's on the bone of, of my G Wagon. Not really comfortable, but it's keeping me warm. Istanbul, Berlin, Paris. It's almost at midnight. Very good morning from Paris, day three. So I told you yesterday I'd be going back to London, but I had to stay back for work commitment. So I am in Paris for another probably one or two days. So we'll give you more of Paris. Stay tuned and enjoy the videos. Just got the beauty at the car wash. You can see it's an electric car wash. A lot of schedule for the day and uh, hopefully we're gonna have a very good day and we'll keep you updated for now I've just got the car for wash and it looks super clean I'm gonna show you around A very interesting shop which I found here and they've got all collectibles Yeezys for kids and then they've got all kind of collectibles in the shop and it's on Avenue George 5 very premium location in Paris So I'm returning to London tomorrow morning and still there's no fuel in London so I've been um, requested to refuel the car fully so that's what I've done tomorrow early morning 5 o'clock is my departure to London my car is fully loaded with the fuel there you can see it's full tank and we're ready to rock and roll to London tomorrow morning I'll be at the French border in Calais in next five minutes and you can see it's still dark I started at four this morning so it took me three hours from Paris to get to this place and um, as long as I can I would show you the formalities at the boat and how things work these days to pass off the boat onto the Euro tunnel and um, how do we board the Euro tunnel and how do we exit it? So, yeah, we'll try our level best to do that. And so far, it's been a dry day. There's been no rain, which is good. It was good driving conditions. And uh, I still have 230 miles worth of fuel in the car, which is good. So I can reach home safely with enough fuel. 
So that's the terminal in Calais. We have to go for a document check. That's the document check. And after that, they would give me a ticket to board my Eurotunnel. So here is my ticket, and I'm on 820. That's the car. So this is the procedure. That's the terminal. So now I'm onwards to boarding. It's going to be immigrations. So now right in front of us is the French immigration because we've brexited so they will be stamping if you've got a British passport or a non-EU passport and then after this is the UK immigration. Time to board and welcoming me is the beautiful English weather. That's the train, that's how it looks like. The entire truck or bus and of course cars they can go in and you'll see how now So that was the experience so far with the Euro Tunnel. I'm parked inside and uh, I have to be in the car for the next 35 minutes. And after 35 minutes we'll be off to Foxtown. No more checks, all the checks have been completed. Just need to take rest for the next 35 minutes and then off to London. Welcome back to the UK.